Hey, welcome back. First, I wanted to thank you because this channel is getting close to 500 subscribers. I read all of your comments and your feedback to make the video and the tool better. Today, we are building a B-Swarm plot. It's a really interesting type of charts that allows you to see the individual point in your data. With one big advantage, there is no overlap between the points. Here you can see some examples of B-Swarm that have been made by the Tableau community using my tool. Today we are going to build this B-Swarm plot together. It shows the profit ratio and the quantity of state split by segment. This video will have the same structure as my other tutorial. We will start by quickly preparing the data. Then we will use a tool to generate and export the B-Swarm directly in Tableau. And then we will finalize the design. If you are ready, you can just open Tableau and let's get started. So with Tableau open, we are going to connect to sample Superstore. And we are going to make a simple visualization with the state. Then we are going to take the segment. And then it's really important that we are going to uh, duplicate segment to make uh, a copy of segment that we are going to rename segment number. This is important because the tool we are going to use to generate the B-Swarm only accept numbers as X or Y coordinates. So we cannot put the segment as it is to have different line. We will need to have a number that represents the different segment. So let's put segment number next to segment. And we are just changing the alias to put one for consumer, two for corporate, and three from, for home office. Now that we have that, we can take the two value that interest us, the profit ratio, and also the quantity next to it. Now in the view, you can just right click, click on view data, and then go to download, and we will name this this one plot, save, and we are done. So in our case, we have four columns. We have the state, the segment, the profit ratio, and the quantity. But the minimum you need to create a B-Swarm plot is two. You could just create a B-Swarm plot, a really simple one with just state and profit ratio. Let's now use the tool to generate the B-Swarm and export it directly in Tableau. Let's open a web browser and go to tools.ladataviz.com. On this page, you can see the different generator and you are going to use the B-Swarm. On the B-Swarm generator, you see you have an example. Uh, we will select the file, the file that we just created, the B-Swarm plot. Now we already have a B-Swarm, but it's not exactly what we want. So for the X axis, we are going to say we want the profit ratio. For the Y axis, we want the segment number. And that is why it was really important to have a number for our segment. And for the size, we are going to use the quantity. We can increase a bit the size to put 45 pixels for the biggest quantity. And we are just going to change the width to put something like 1200 or 1230, just to have our visualization a little bit bigger. Now let's go down and click on Download Tableau Desktop. This will download automatically a Tableau file that you can open and will show our B swamp. That's it, it's that easy. I spent a lot of time building this tool and I'm trying to make it a bit better every day. If you want to help me, you can like this video and subscribe to the channel. And if you want me to work even faster, you will find a link in the description where you can buy me some coffee. And now the last step, we will finalize the visualization before we publish it. Okay, let's start and we will go to the worksheet, to the B-Swarm worksheet. And the first thing we will do is we will select the segment and put it in color. Uh, let's click on color and edit the color and I will just use the, the color that I'm user, usually using for this project. So black for consumer, um, orange for corporate and a blue for home office. Okay. The next thing we are going to do is take the ID uh, and put it in label to already see which state are we looking at. And if I click on label, I can select the font and say match mark color. So it's a bit more uh, aesthetically pleasing, let's say. Let's click on tooltip, reset the tooltip. Uh, and put profit ratio and quantity. So now we will have a, a tooltip showing all the information that are currently in the view. We can remove the index, we can remove the, the, the text for ID, and we can, we can also remove the size. Okay, uh, now if we look at our tooltip, we just can see that the profit ratio is not expressed in percentage. So we can go to profit ratio, click on format, go to pane, number, select percentage with one decimal. And that is much better. We have a profit ratio that is in percentage. 
Let's go back to the dashboard. What we are missing currently, it's a legend. We have the three columns, um, but we don't really know which segment are for which color. And instead of having like the default legend in Tableau, I'm going to show you how to create a legend that, we that can also be used as a highlight action. So let's create a new worksheet and we will put segment in columns. Uh, let's exclude null values. Let's double click next to segment and we will write max of 1.0. This is a really efficient way of creating one bar chart per segment with a little space on the right that is perfect to make legends. Let's remove the header of the axis and also the header of our segment. Now we can take segment, put it in label. Um, we can take segment, put it also in color so we match the, the right color. Let's click on label and in the alignment, put it in the center. And what we will do, we will just increase a bit the height of this worksheet so we can see the text. And in color, let's reduce a bit the opacity to 75%. And to finish, we will just sort the segment descending so they will have the same order as we have them in the B swap. Now it's time to format a bit our dashboard. So let's add a title uh, and we will name it profit ratio by state and segment. Let's select it, put it in the blue that I usually use, uh, size 36 and the font will be tableau board. Okay. Now we can add our legend just in between the profit ratio and the B-Swarm. Let's hide the title and add and remove also that, that legend. Let's also format again this worksheet to remove the row divider and the column divider, as well as the grid lines and the zero lines to really just have um, something that looks like three legend. Let's click again on, the, on this worksheet and go to layout and we are going to add a bit of padding so you can unselect the lock and on the right padding at 600 pixels. This is looking much better. We have our title, our legend, and then the B swap. I also want to remove the tooltip here so we can click on the worksheet menu, go to tooltip, and from here you can um, deselect show tooltip. So now we don't have any tooltip for the legend. What is also missing right now is some kind of axis so we can know what is the minimum and the maximum value in our view. So to do that, we are going to go to dashboard again and add some text at the bottom and we will call that profit ratio. So at least we know that what is represented on that X axis is profit ratio. We will put it in black and we can increase a bit the size to 12. Okay, so this is profit ratio. I also want to add some tick so we know what is the minimum, the middle and the maximum of the profit ratio of what we are looking at. So for that, I'm going to use a horizontal container between the B swarm and profit ratio, put a uh, text and write 0%. So this is really the start. It starts at 0%. Um, let's put it in black, in Tableau medium, and in size 11. And let's also just copy the value so we don't have to reformat every time that we are going to add the middle and the maximum. So let's check in our view. And the maximum is for Colorado and is 68%. So we can add another text to the right of our container and paste our value and say 68 and don't forget to align it to the right. So on the left, we have 68. And in the middle, we can see that we are around 32%. So I'm going to add a text in the middle to add 32. And sometimes with container, it's really difficult to do that. So I'm going to click on the text, double click on the gray outline that takes me to the container. And then on the container, I can right click and edit the height and I will put it 60 just to have some space. And now if I drag and drop my text, it's working. Let's paste again and say 32% align in the center. Now I can again double click on that gray area to go to the container and remove the fixed size. The issue that we have right now is like 0 and 68 are not really aligned with what we have in the, in the view. So I'm going to select again the container and in the layout, deselect the lock and add 110 pixels in the left and in the right. Now our 0 and our 68 match the actual values. Finally, I'm just going to add a small line. So for that, let's take a blank and put it between the title and the tick. And in the layout, we are going to select a dark color, right click, edit height and put nine to have just a one pixel line in our view. That's it, we now have uh, an axis that explains um, what we are looking at, the profit ratio. And in that view, it goes from 0% to 68%. Now let's do some formatting for our dashboard. So I'm going to click on the worksheet and go to the container. And again, to go to the big container that contains everything. And I'm going to add 20 pixels just to have some space, always add some space in the, in the dashboard. 
and as my background I'm going to use a light blue. What I need to do now is to remove the white background of my two worksheets. So we can click on the worksheet, format, and in the shading, remove the, the color of the worksheet. And the same for the legend. That is it. Let's increase a bit now the height of our dashboard. That's much better. And let's also rename the, this sheet as legend. Currently, we are missing a bit of interactivity to really make the dashboard uh, really easy to use and really insightful. So let's go to the dashboard menu, click on action. And from the action, we are going to add an action that is a highlight action. Let's select the B-Swarm sheet from source and target. And we are going to select the field and say we are going to highlight only the ID. And we are going to run the action when we hover over a node. So let's click on OK and see how does this look like. So if I hover over Colorado, I can see where is Colorado in the different segments? So I can see that it's performing really well in home office, but not so much in corporate and consumer. And then you can also uh, look at New York, for example, or California. Okay, so that's already good, but we can do even better by making our legend interactive. So let's go back to dashboard action, and we are going to add another highlight action. And this time the source will be the legend and the target will be the B swarm sheet and we are going to run this action again on hover. Let's click on OK. And now the cool thing is like, if you put your mouse over uh, any of the segment, all the dots of that segment will highlight. To make it a bit better, I'm just going to go in the worksheet and in the color, I will put a bit of opacity, something like 80%. Uh, and I'm also going to add a white border just to be able to define our circle a bit more. Okay, that's it. Uh, now, if we look at our dashboard, I think we are done. We have a B-Swarm showing the profit ratio by state and segment. The only thing we are missing right now is a legend that says that the size of our circle is the quantity, but I will let you do that before you publish the visualization. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you create a B-Swarm using my tool, please add your visualization in the comment because I'm building a gallery where people will be able to see all the visualization that have been built using this tool. Thank you and see you next time.